Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It's your boy Rashad, one half of PNP. And today we got to talk about these trade rumors. The trade deadline is approaching us next week. In fact, it's next Tuesday to be specific. The trade deadline is here. There's a couple rumors going around, around right now. We got to talk about them. Now, before we get into this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, comments. Let me know what's good, all that good stuff. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We got two months to go and our subscribers have basically stopped. We've been at the same point for a long time. If you're new here, if you've been watching for a long time, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel tremendously. We got a lot of big things coming up, so we need that help. We need those subscribers to go on up, all right? So let's make that thing happen. Hit the subscribe button if you already done so, all right? All the way up, let's get it. Now, we gotta talk about our current draft capital because that's, that, that goes into a lot when it comes to the trade deadline. You got some picks. You may want to move those picks around. So let's take a look at our current draft capital. Right now, we have a first round pick. We don't have a second round pick because of Sam Darnold. We don't have a third round pick because of uh, CJ Henderson. We have a fourth round pick from the Texans. We have a fifth round pick acquired in the CJ Henderson trade. Uh, and we also have a sixth round pick from the Raiders. And we have a seventh round pick from the Titans. So we do not have a second or a third round pick. Very, very important when it comes to talking about trades and potential trades, because those could be uh, sticklers in some of these trades I may talk about uh, in the future. Now, as of right now, there is a tweet going on right now, but my man uh, Dove Kil Kleiman, I don't know who that is, he's got a check mark, so he's, he's legit. Uh, right now, he is saying that AJ Bouye has been in discussions uh, for trade talks, all right. So I don't know. Um, and there's no context. No, there's no team tied to it. Um, but AJ Bouye is appears to be offered up uh, in trade uh, talks. It makes complete sense, but given the way this this quarter cornerback room has has panned out with uh, Dante Jackson, um, C.J. Henderson, now Stephon Gilmore, J.C. Horn when he comes back. There's a lot of, of um, a lot of good good talent there, so it's not surprising to see an AJ Bouye be moved. And not not to mention Keith Taylor. Keith Taylor is playing a lot better than I think the Panthers even anticipated him playing. So that makes guys expendable. It's great. It's a great scenario for the Panthers. We now have a little bit of trade bait uh, to go out there and, and potentially acquire those missing draft picks or go out and get another tackle. So. That's important, keep an eye on that. Do I expect one of those cornerbacks to be moved? Yes, I do. I do think one of the cornerbacks, if anybody's gonna be traded, I think it's gonna be one of those cornerbacks as we have a plethora of those. And I do think Dante Jackson is in the long-term plans for the Panthers. So I have no problem with moving, moving AJ Bouye, great player, but we have a, uh, that's, that's a, 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 a position where we have um, a, a, a nice amount of talent. So I have no problem with them moving one of those guys, all right? Now, let's talk about a player that I think the Panthers should look to acquire, and that is Andre Dillard. He is currently a backup left tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles. And Howie Roseman and the Eagles have become sellers. They are sellers right now. You, they traded Joe Flacco. They traded uh, Zach Ertz. They may be looking to acquire more draft capital. They have a ton of draft capital. Right now, they have three first-round picks, all those looking to be in the top 10 right now. These guys have a ton of draft capital and they're doing things the right way from a team building standpoint. They may not look like they're in good shape right now, but if they play the draft right, they, they're gonna be in good shape. Now, I think that um, this is a guy that's gotten beat out by Maialata, who is their future left tackle, okay? But Andre Dillard is no slouch. He was drafted uh, in 2019 by the Philadelphia Eagles, so he's still on a rookie contract. He's still on a rookie contract, and since he was drafted in the first round, he has a fifth year option available to him. So that's very, very important. Those are the kind of guys, very similar into the vein that we got uh, CJ Henderson. It's a very similar scenario. You wanna get a guy while he's on his rookie contract and has a fifth year option available to you. Now he's still gonna be his rookie contract next year, but the year after that, he'll be available uh, to pick up that fifth year option. Very, very important. Now, if you look at this guy from a PFF standpoint, he grades out as an overall 68, 68.5 to be specific. Also, if you look at his pass blocking grade, that's where he excels, 75.8, okay? His run blocking grade, not so great. But where do the Panthers uh, suck right now? That's pass blocking. Right now, the best, the highest graded tackle on the Panthers roster is graded at a 58, and that's, uh, and that's Cam Irving. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. You could 
boosts your left tackle position instantly by going out and getting this guy. And apparently what I'm hearing, the word on the street is that it's not gonna cost the Panthers too much to go out and get this guy. What I'm hearing is that it may be a second day pick. Now we don't have a second or a third round pick. Maybe we can make it a future pick. Maybe we can move some other capital or some other guys to flip those into a third round pick to then trade that pick uh, to get uh, Andre Dillard. But it is possible to get this guy potentially for a, a third round pick, very similar to how we got um, CJ Henderson. It didn't cost us much. And this guy's sitting on a bench He's a backup. Uh, they may want to keep him. They, they actually, you know, I, if it was me and I'm I'm the Philadelphia Eagles, I want to keep this dude as a solid backup because you you need a solid backup left tackle. I mean, ask the Carolina Panthers. We don't have one, and we are up shit's creek every week. So, um, but this is a guy that the Panthers should be all in on acquiring right now. Again, you got to keep in mind that most left tackles are not found in free agency. You have to go out there, you have to trade them, uh, you have to trade for them, you have to acquire them via different means. And I think Andre Dilla, he's six foot five, 310 pounds, a bit light, but I think this is a guy that has done a great job. Matter of fact, he held his own against our, our defense, right? He didn't give up a sack. Looking at his stats right now, uh, he didn't give up a sack and only gave up one pressure in the game in one of the top def against one of the top defenses in the league. So this guy is a solid, solid tackle who I believe can, can potentially be something in the right scenario. Now, he's playing well right now. He's, I, I like what he's doing. And I think he's somebody we should definitely, definitely, definitely be in on, all right? Now, the last thing we gotta discuss is Deshaun Watson. The Carolina Panthers have removed their name from the, the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, uh, but I think most teams are trying to wait to figure out what the legal ramifications are gonna be uh, behind uh, Deshaun Watson situation. What the what is the league gonna do? How many how many games is he gonna be suspended? There's a lot of question marks around Deshaun Watson right now. And personally, I don't think he gets traded this year at all. I think most teams are gonna wait. They need to figure out what the situation is gonna be, and all that legal stuff is probably gonna be handled in 2022, uh, and then maybe next season or next off season, uh, you'll see a, a, a move made for Deshaun Watson. I wouldn't say that the Panthers are completely out. Uh, but they are out as of right now, and it won't. There will be nothing done at, from the Panthers' perspective by Tuesday. And I don't think he's gonna. I don't think anybody's gonna be involved uh, on Tuesday. I think they're gonna completely be out, uh, and I think this situation kicks into next year. All right. Couple of other names that are out there in regards to trade rumors, not necessarily tied to the Panthers, but they're just out there. Uh, Melvin Ingram is a guy outside linebacker from uh, the Steelers. Uh, another interesting name, Evan Ingram, tight end from the Giants. That is one the Panthers could potentially keep their eyes on. Uh, given our current tight end situation, I don't think uh, Ian Thomas is the answer. He's on a contract year. Maybe you go out there and get an Evan Ingram. I don't know, um, but that is one I keep an eye on for the Panthers. Another one um, is going to be uh, Kyle Fuller. Not, again, not necessarily tied to the Panthers, but his name has been floated out there in regards to a trade. Uh, Fletcher Cox is another name that's been thrown out there. Again, the Eagles are on a fire sale right now. They're sellers. They're becoming sellers. They have a. They're, they're going to look to acquire a ton of draft capital. That's the way you operate when you're rebuilding a team. They just sell everything, acquire the draft capital. Eagles are doing a great job at that. I mentioned that earlier. Um, Marlon Mack is another interesting name. Marlon Mack is uh, obviously the, the running back from the Colts. He's another one that we could take a look at. Uh, the Panthers. Um, Zayvon Howard is out there. I'm, I'm heard he's being floated around there. Emmanuel Agba. So those are the couple names that are out there that I've been I've been hearing the most rumors around. Um, again, not necessarily tied to the Panthers, but those are just names that I'm hearing. All right. So that being said, man, that's all the trade rumors I have so far. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Get these comments. Let me know what's up. What do you guys think about Andre Dillard? Uh, would you guys go and trade for him? And if so, what would you trade for him? Uh, and is there anybody else? Who else am I missing? Who else would you go out there and make a trade for right now to make this team better? All right? I'm out. Peace.